modern children, we're going to try something a bit different today. We're going to try some classification. That's a posh word for sorting. And we're going to sort our animals by what they eat. So, I'll tell you the three groups we're going to do. We're going to have herbivores. Now, herbivores like to eat plants. And a good example of a herbivore is my cow. He's, he just eats grass, so he likes to eat plants. My next group are called carnivores. Carnivores like to eat meat, just meat, no plants, just meat. And my carnivore is my lion. He likes to eat lots of meat. And our third group are called omnivores. Now omnivores like to do both. They eat plants and they eat meat. We're an omnivore, we like to eat both. And also an animal that's an omnivore is a bear. So there are three groups. And I'm going to use a Venn diagram on my table here to help us to sort some animals. So in the red circle, we're going to put herbivores, the ones that like to eat plants. In my yellow circle, we're going to put carnivores, the ones that like to eat meat. And where the two circles overlap, we're going to have our omnivores, because they like to eat meat and plants. So we'll start by putting our first three animals in. So can you remember where the cow went? Was he a meat eater? Was he a carnivore? Or was he a plant eater, a herbivore? That's right, he went over here because he eats the grass. Our next animal was the lion. Can you remember where he went? Was he a meat eater, a plant eater, or did he eat both? That's right, he's a carnivore. He just eats, I shall turn him around so you can see him. He just eats meat. And my last one was my bear. And the bear was the omnivore. He's the one that likes to eat both. So we'll push that forward so you can still see that. And there's Mr. Bear in there. Now this week, we're doing all about these animals, aren't we? We're doing about dinosaurs. Have you been reading some of those Harry and the Bucket Full of Dinosaur stories? Did you like the one Miss Harris read? It made me smile. I've got some dinosaurs here. I've got some dinosaur fact cards because I don't know much about dinosaurs. I've got some and we're going to help me sort them. So my first one is a Brachiosaurus. Look at that long neck. Now, he likes to eat plants. And a fascinating fact about it, the Brachiosaurus is he was the largest and heaviest land animal ever discovered. He's huge. So he was a plant eater. So he's a herbivore. So he goes in here. There he is, there's our Brachiosaurus. Our next one is a Spinosaurus. I don't know much about a Spinosaurus, but a Spinosaurus likes to eat fish and other dinosaurs. So he's a meat eater, and it tells me that Spinosauruses were one of the largest meat-eating dinosaurs and lived in the water and on land. So he's a carnivore, so he's going to go here with our lion. Our next one, wait for my camera now, is an oviraptor. And our oviraptor likes to eat meat, eggs, seeds, insects and plants. Oh, it's one that eats both. Can you remember the word, children? It's not a herbivore, it's not a carnivore, it's a omnivore. You're right, he goes in here with our bear. There he is. I've got a few more to do. Oh, I like this name. This is a Velociraptor. I think that's one of my favourite names. And he ate other dinosaurs as well. He's a meat eater. And their bodies, oh I didn't know this, their bodies, this bit here, was about the size of the Christmas turkey you might have had on Christmas Day if you had a Christmas turkey. So he's a carnivore, so he's going in here with our lion. He's a meat eater. And then we've got, oh we like this one children, don't we? It's this one here, it's a Triceratops, the one with the three horns. Now, Triceratops, they look very fierce. You'd think they were a meat eater, but no, they eat plants. And they had three nose horns they used for defense. So that's what kept them safe from other dinosaurs. So he's a herbivore. So he's going over here with our plant eaters. Oh, this is one of the best names. It's an Apatosaurus. I know that one's in the Harry and the Bucket full of dinosaur books. And he likes eating plants as well. 
and Apatosauruses had long whip-like tails that helped to balance their long necks. I think this one might be an Apatosaurus. Look at that long neck. So he's going over here in the herbivores. And our last one is the Tyrannosaurus Rex. I couldn't not do that one, could I? So the Tyrannosaurus Rex, that's the one with the tiny little arms. And he used to like to eat other dinosaurs, such as Triceratops. And they were the most fearsome dinosaurs. Oh. So he's going in here with our carnivores. Let's make sure it's there so it's clear for you. And there we go, so we've done some classification. Have a go at home, you can use two hoops or you could just have some uh, shapes on the floor. See what you can do. Can you sort your animals that you've got at home? If you haven't got any, you can always draw a picture. Send some pictures into us. I love to see them and we'll see you all very soon. Bye-bye.